Okay, here we go. We're gonna go and do the uh, ash over loop. So if you came and demoed a bike here, this is a loop takes about, uh, about 45 minutes. Probably not even that, but it's a great little uh, testy for you to uh, take the bike on. Any particular bike, really, we do. So, okay, left around this way. A little bit of a road section and that road section takes you straight into a um, dirty dusty track and that dirty dusty track leads into a nice bit of single track that leads into a quarry you could have a play around in the quarry if you fancied uh, and then just follow the path the stony path all the way down to the to the bottom and then that takes you to two options left or right but when i get there i'll show you that bit okay so after the shock of the initial road climb, you're over that, you see the, uh, the corner straight up ahead. You're gonna take the right hand fork here. See the wall there? So when you get to the T-junction, you're turning left, so when it's ready. So like I say, this is a, a little tester loop. It's actually part of the Ash Over Single Track Trail. Out of the White Peat book, if any of you've got that. I know the guy, Tom Fenton, who uh, put a lot of these trails together. He lives around this way. And this was just like a, the Ash Over loop. It's only about I think eight miles. Um, but it's just super fun fast little single track sections. In fact, it's called the Ash Over Single Track Special in the book, in the guidebook. So, uh, but anyway, this is just one section of it and it's actually in reverse. And it's just a great bit to go straight from the unit and out, hit the, hit the uh, trail and come back. Okay, so you're probably noticing the shots change. This is because last time we went out, a piece of mud flipped up, hit the camera and wrecked all the footage. So, we're here two days later. Eight degrees colder. Uh, right, anyway, here we go. Oh my God, it is brutally cold, man. Oh. Oh. Barely skinny. Oh. as well. Frozen and slippy. Oh, brutal. Okay. This uh, is the quarry. I'm going to try and show you a bit of a shot on the quarry. Okay, so obviously you come on a bit of a test ride, you can try your bike out or jump around and repair that down here. And uh, we're going to carry on down the trail and show you the, uh, the rest of this descent through that style there. So yeah, and it leads on to uh, another piece of single track and I'll show you the direction to go from that point. Oh, 
So this little juncture, you go straight on, brutally cold. And uh, when you get to this little juncture, turn right, you can turn left. That takes you down a little descent that leads you into Ashover, which is really good fun, but uh, unless you've got the white peak book, you'll struggle to find your way back out and it's uh, really a bit road heavy to get anywhere else with trail so this section's better and you can keep looping this bit but I'll show you how that works out in a minute this is, yeah, here we go nice fast bit of signal track really fun this bit you can see trail <sighs> Turn right here. So at this uh, T junction, you want to be taking a right. Just up this uh, another little bit of farm track. Now, as I said before, this leads you to the uh, to the, the style that we went over, and you can well get to the style. I'll show you. You can literally just carry on doing this loop of single track. If you fancy. Or if you have the guidebook with you, you can go left and follow that section down and that leads you into this little village of Ashover and you'll find your way out. There's some good single track bits and bobs around that area as well. Or you can just follow the book backwards. There you go. Walkers. Hello. Hello. So, when you get back to this point, as expressed previously, you can turn right here and that'll take you back to the start of that single track section we've just done, or as we're going to this time, and this will take you back home to where we came. So, yeah, a nice bit of a technical climb, so you get to see how the bike feels during a technical climb, I guess. See how sloppy this was coming down it. Flooding in space. Flooding in space. Flooding in space. Flooding in space. So back at the quarry now. That's the uh, rocky start that we came down. You can climb that if you fancy. Or see a piece of single track to your left there. Just follow that over. No wonder we were all over the place coming down here. Proper slippy, proper sludgy. Oh, 
Uh, here we are, bucket base. That is the uh, Stanton Ashover Superloop Demo Special. It takes about 45 minutes. Not too bad. Bye bye. Um. <laughs>